This video goes out to all of you beginners out there who don't quite understand EQ and filters and things like that, but this is going to set you straight. This is going to make music production so much easier for you because when you understand this, it's like light bulb goes off and shit starts making sense. So without further ado, let's dive straight into it after you hit that subscribe button. So before we dive into the EQ, I want to give you a quick rundown on the Spectrum Analyzer. Now this is just a tool that allows you to see the signal in real time. The X axis represents the frequency or the pitch, and the Y axis represents the volume or decibels. You can see the analyzer reacting to the different inputs I'm putting in my MIDI keyboard. Low bass frequencies are on the left, and higher frequencies are on the right. So here's Ableton's EQ8. It looks very similar to the Spectrum, only it's got a blue line through it. Same thing here, the X axis represents the frequency or the pitch, while the Y axis represents the volume or the decibels. The difference with the EQ8 is it allows you to boost or lower the volume of certain frequencies. You can choose what frequencies to change by clicking on one of the numbers and dragging it around. And you can choose the shape of the EQ by clicking the corresponding drop down box and selecting the desired shape. This shape's called a high cut or a low pass. So everything below the blue line stays there, but everything above the blue line gets removed. So as you can see, as I lower the frequencies, all of those high frequencies are being removed or lowered in volume. The main types of EQ shapes are high pass, low pass, high shelf, low shelf, band pass, and band reject. There's a few other important features of EQ which I'll discuss later, but first I want to talk about filters. The next effect is pretty much the same as an EQ, but it's called an auto filter. Once again, you can see the same audio spectrum with a blue line with a high cut or a low pass. This effect will do exactly the same as the EQ8. You'll also see these filters in a lot of synthesizers. Some synths will have a visual representation like this. While others won't have any and you'll have to go off memory. Sometimes you'll come across this blue line and audio spectrum in some of Ableton's effects. If you do see this, it means that you can change the sound of the effect while leaving the original sound intact. So for example, you can remove some of the low frequencies or high frequencies from a reverb or a delay while leaving the original sound intact. All right, so let's jump back onto EQ8 and I'm gonna show you some of the other features. The frequency just controls the frequency of the selected number. The gain controls how much you wanna add or reduce from that frequency. The Q represents how steep or wide the cut is. The little headphones allow you to hear the frequencies that are being removed. Under the mode settings, you have stereo, which controls the whole sound. Left and right, which EQs the sound different between the left and the right ear. And mono and stereo, which EQs the middle and the stereo differently. Now the most common uses for an EQ8 are to cut out sub-frequencies and allow your bass to come through, to boost higher frequencies and allow things to cut through the mix, and to remove loud resonant frequencies that stand out. But most importantly, it just helps everything sit better in your song. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below. Or if you want a whole bunch of free stuff, you can visit my website at offthebeat.com.